Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and we have a little update on Young Justice Targets. Well, as many of you know, we actually got a new comic book series coming for this season of Young Justice. The upcoming series to follow Phantoms will be called Targets, and the first issue is set to drop on June 14th, 2022 on DC Universe Infinite, their online streaming service. It'll then be available to the general public on July the 26th, so we got quite the wait there. Don't worry, we'll be covering it as soon as it drops on the service here, so stay tuned. Anyway, I was looking over on the Young Justice Wiki, and the site gave us an update on the second issue of the comic. Now, we actually got a full logline for the first issue several months ago. In case you don't remember, it read, Queen Pardita has been kidnapped. Mysterious armored assailants have snatched the Vladian royal out from underneath Bowhunter security, leaving Green Arrow and Black Canary poisoned and comatose in the process. Now a rallying cry echoes around the globe and across super teams to band together and rescue Pardita. Now, the second issue appears to pick up right where the first one ended, and we have a couple of details there. Now, they're not saying when it will be released on DC Infinite, probably about 30 days earlier. But it will hit comic stores on August the 23rd, 2022. Again, this one doesn't have a title as of yet, but it does have some pretty cool art featuring Black Canary and Green Arrow, which makes me pretty hopeful they survive the poisoning. Now, the logline actually reads, With Queen Pardita nowhere to be found, an APB has been sent across the planet. Now, in Markovia, the Infinitors have assembled to track her down, but are the Infinitors to be trusted? How deep does this evil conspiracy run, and who will be able to unravel the deception in time? Now, obviously, there's some sort of countdown going on here, and I'm, and I'm pretty sure since this series will be focused on Queen Perdita, and we've seen a lot of gar in the art for these books, that we will see these two get back together. Now, these comics are going to be pretty interesting, because each issue kind of will have multiple parts. It's obviously going to be a continuation post Young Justice Phantoms. But the more interesting part of the series to me is the fact that the show will deal with some untold adventures from the past. I suspect some of these will be in order to seed story details moving forward. The simple fact this comic is coming after the fourth season is complete provides me with a ton of hope that we are indeed going to get a fifth season and they just have been holding the announcement back from fans. Remember, we're still telling everybody to focus on those Young Justice hashtags. Renew Young Justice, Young Justice Season 5, and Save Earth 16. Make sure you hit it on your favorite social media platform, and remember to keep it positive. That's going to be the way we get HBO Max to renew the series. Now stay tuned because we're going to cover each issue of the comic and break it down fully here. We'll do this when it releases on DC Infinite, and we will be sharing every detail we can, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell or you'll miss these updates. But until then, what do you guys think? How do you feel like this comic series is shaping up as far as story goes? And do you believe we will see Garfield and Queen Pardita finally reunite after their rather emotional breakup on Young Justice Phantoms? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you won't get any updates. Peace.